Hey, hey, planner peeps. Hello, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kat, and you're watching Planning Calm. And here in this channel, I love, love, love to share with you all the many ways I can help you plan your way to calm and plan a calmer life. Now, in this video, I'm going to talk about a subject that has been on my heart lately that I wanted to share with you, and that is planner consistency, or staying consistent in your planner. And I know a lot of us here in the planner community struggle with this. I'm here to show you how you can establish uh, planner peeps with my three main things, or the three Fs I say, or I like to say, when it comes to staying consistent in your planner and ultimately leading to a uh, planner peace, which then will ultimately, hopefully will lead to a calmer life. And I'm all about calm living on this channel. So um, to dive in, I'm gonna show you what I have and what I'm using currently as my planner setup. Now this is the common, the passionate penny pincher planner, sorry. <laughs> I had a cover planner on my mind. This is a uh, passionate penny pincher planner, and this is my household planner. Next up, I have uh, the Sterling Ink Common Planner in the A5 size, and this is the full year. And then I have just a Moterm covered um, traveler's notebook that I use as my on the go planner. And this planner lineup has been working out beautifully for me. The first F I want to talk about in regards to planner consistency is form. Now, form is to me, and this is just all my own thinking. When I talk about form, I'm talking about what it is, the, the actual tangible piece. And so if I look at my traveler's notebook, now I took a lot of things out just for privacy, but I have, um, this is a, an example of form um, because of just how this is um, formulated, this planner's formulated. Now, it's an on-the-go planner, so I keep my there's a lot of bang in here. I'm filming after school. I apologize if you hear scraping and stuff. <laughs> Custodians are cleaning up and they do a great job here. So I'm not going to not going to complain. But if you hear scraping, I apologize. But um, in regards to the form of my planners, this one is great because it care it's light and it, I can carry it on the go. It's multi-purpose because I can carry planner accessories, planner stickers. I can either, even carry cash on me here, cards of sorts. If I'm taking my planning on the go to the library or whatever, um, there's a spot for stickers, change, mementos, um, other things like business cards and so on. And um, this is my brain dump um, planner and I have other things that I've taken out that also go with this planner. But this is a great example of form, of having form in a planner, how it looks like, what it looks like, and what it's doing to to really work for you. And this has brought me a lot of calm because this is basically my brain dump planner that I take on the go. Things I can easily just jot in here, track and take down and I have it handy all the time with me and it's such a great planner. And this has allowed me to stay consistent in my planner game because it is so small and versatile and um, I can take it on go anywhere if it's in any bag that I carry and it's just such a great, um, great, great product. So highly recommend a, like a pocket size or a passport size planner uh, and that has to do with form. My next key, my next F to having and maintaining planner peace in your life is with function. Now, function to me is how something works, okay? Now, when it comes to, you know, just a planner, you, you have a planner for a variety of reasons. I know a lot of people have a planner because they need something to function for them so that they can keep track of things happening in their life. So for me, um, my functional planner is this one here. And this is the Passionate Penny Pincher Planner. Now this is my household planner. It's the one that lives at home most of the time. And it really does do all kinds of duty. But if I look at January, I use this consistently in the month of January. And it was great because it's on my desk at home. I have it laid out at the monthly view. And then I have um, the rulers for, um, I just put this ruler here for the week that I was on and it was great. And I can see what bills are due. Like the function is just incredible because there's so many things. This is just the monthly view, but also there's the weekly view and I have it as a chest, like, checklist system. 
lists are good a list, baby. I love lists. I love making lists. I love checking things off of a list. Comment down below if that's how if that's you as well. But um, when it comes to those everyday life grinding, lifing tasks, I throw it in this planner. It functions well because it helps me to see what I have to do and allows me to check it off when I get it done. So it's just so wonderful. There's so many planners out there that can do the same thing. You really have to find something that functions for you. And for me, because of my planning needs and the way that I plan, this planner works really, really well for that. And so that is, this is my functional planner and it's working great for me. Now, lastly, when it comes to staying consistent in my planner, the last F is where I love to just dive in. And that is having fun with a exclamation point. <laughs> I love having fun with planners. And when I think about fun and having fun with my planner, I think about this. This is my common planner and I love this. I know I carry it around with me all the time, so it's a little bit scratched up. I'll show you what I'm using to combat that. But um, when it comes to fun, having a planner that's fun to use and that you enjoy because you can get creative with it it helps you to stay consistent in your planner and so for me that is key so a part of it being fun is i have a, a prayer board or a vision board type of thing here and i have all the things that make it fun so i have nice brilliant colors um so if i turn to like my month view for instance i have my month views with lots of color that i can just experiment and play around with, which is oh so much fun. I'm just absolutely loving it. And then I have the weekly view, which again, more color, more fun. I love stickers. Um, I'm trying to you know reduce my sticker usage and spending, um, but I have a lot of stickers that I love. Um, link in the description below for some ways to save on some stickers if you're in the, sh in the shop and if it's in your budget to buy some stickers. But just i love this this is a birthday spread um that i did as part of a youtube collab so again that fun that fun aspect is in here um i love this planner i love having um, experimenting with different things different designs and colors and stickers and fonts and so on it's just so 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 great i'm absolutely loving it having fun with your planners finding planners that will function for your everyday needs and a planner that has the right form for the style that you want in a planner is my key to um, planner peace and staying consistent in my planner. And it's been working really, really well since the beginning of the year and I've thoroughly enjoyed it. This has been such a wonderful um, season in my planner game and it has allowed me to have fun with it. Um, it functions well and um, I've been able to stay consistent. So I hope you enjoy. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to tell me how you found um, or how you're able to stay consistent in your planner. I would love to know if you care to share. And until the next video, my friends, take care, be well, be blessed, and I'll see you all in the next planner video. Bye-bye, planner peeps.